Hello and welcome to the 19th lecture, MD Simulation Data Analysis. So uh, we have introduced uh, to the MD platform LAMS and previously we have shown you the second approach to run an MD simulation that is from a server or a software instead of making the system from the scratch. Now it will give you a brief uh, review on in how to uh, analyze the data that you get from uh, running an MD simulation. So, uh, we, uh, as you uh, already know from the previous lecture that we can run an MD simulation from Charm GUI software that makes all the, that generates all the required files to run an MD simulation. And uh, to get a vibe of MD simulation data analysis, we will go through the Evocity tutorial where we will deform a three-dimensional periodic simulation cell in a uniaxial tension for aluminum. So let's go to the uh, tutorial file. LAMS Evocity Tutorials and Free. So you can see that how it looks like the tensor loading of an aluminum single crystal movie. And uh, the workflow is kind of the same as we have seen in tutorial one. Uh, you start with the input script and you initialize by defining the system in terms of units and dimensions. And then you uh, create a box by defining the lattice region and uh, associated parameters. And then you apply the force field that you can download uh, according to the instruction on this page. And then you uh, give some setting and then equilibrate it. And uh, uh, you start with some uh, random velocity for the atoms and then you apply an NPT ensemble on the system and temperature 300 and then uh, you run an NPT equilibration. And you uh, give uh, the system some commands on the, in terms of how frequently you want to see the thermodynamic data and which data you want to see. And then you run it and uh, you store uh, the data in terms of some variables. And then you uh, calculate the deformation uh, in terms of applying fix, uh, some fixes, that is uh, applying some more commands in terms of strain rate and uh, how it shows how to uh, show you the strain, uh, how to uh, calculate the stress and strain and how to store them. And at the, at the output, you will find the stress and strain uh, printed in a file, they saved in a file and uh, you will also dump all the data in this dump tensile.cfg configuration file that can be analyzed by Atom I software. And then uh, you display uh, this thermodynamic data and you run this simulation. And at the end, it will print all done if run successfully. And it will uh, go through step by step on how to uh, run the simulation, how to uh, understand all the sections, and how to get. Uh, how to interpret the log file. A log file is uh, a file that stores everything that happened throughout the simulation. So at the end, you will get uh, the list of what you commanded the system to store. And uh, it also shows how to plot the stress and strain through a MATLAB script uh, so that you can uh, see a really uh, nice plot of stress versus strain. So generally, uh, in a mechanical tensile loading uh, experiment, you uh, observe stress versus strain data. Uh, in other uh, related experiments, probably you want to see force versus displacement curve. Uh, if it is a biomolecular simulation, uh, you may want to see other biomolecular uh, characteristics, uh, interaction, and something like that. And it also shows you how to make a movie from it so that you can actually visualize the deformation. So that's kind of a, a very high level introduction on what kind of data we can analyze through MD simulation. And uh, another example is to uh, for you to try yourself in the second approach that we have shown you how to run a, a molecular dynamic simulation from Charm GUI, you can, uh, you can actually try to create a system uh, my suggestion is to explore all the modules, uh, especially Solution Builder. Uh, use just any protein PDB file and go through the steps of the Solution Builder to make your system. 
and at the end um, make some output file in, input gener input file generated for lamps or NAMD uh, whichever you prefer and uh, you can also mem uh, use membrane builder uh, if you are really interested in solving uh, membrane related research questions to see how you can create membrane system uh, through charm gui so that's kind of a take-home task for you that will really help you uh, to play with the software and uh, explore it and learn from it so that kind of uh, pretty much summarizes uh, the software aspect of this uh, lecture and in this next lecture will be the final lecture of this course that is md simulation resources and i will conclude you uh, by giving you some good resources and how to perform um, MD simulation practice uh, in real world. Thank you.